the ultimate ha hand wrap uh, advice for boxing. So, um, so for starters, um, what are we trying to do with uh, the hand wraps? Uh, we're protecting the, the knuckles, holding them straight together, and we're also protecting the wrist and tightening that up really, uh, really hard so that uh, when you hit, uh, the impact uh, doesn't blow out the, 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 the knuckles and also doesn't blow out the, the wrist. And um, incidentally, when you're boxing, um, you're hitting with the flat of the hand. So you're, if you look at my, my wrist, it's straight. And uh, so you're actually often hitting with the bottom three knuckles, but you're, you're actually hitting kind of with the four. And uh, when you're doing um, uh, you know, karate or, 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 or other bare knuckle martial arts, you're hitting with the, the two knuckles. Uh, and when you look at my wrist, if I try to hit with the two knuckles, I actually break the wrist, and so if you were to do this with boxing, where you hit much harder and for much longer on, on the heavy bag, um, you'll end up with a lot of problems. So um, just a small detail, but um, but in any case, to start off with the the hand wraps that you get, uh, get cotton hand wraps. Um, uh, the the synthetic ones are terrible because uh, they stretch too much. They're they're elastic, and so um, you can't get them tight enough ever because. Once you start getting them a little bit tight, um, they're actually constraining all the blood flow and your hands will be in enormous pain without actually having the, the real tension that you want to really hold the knuckles in at the point of impact. And so, um, so this, that's one thing. The other is, uh, uh, so I generally, I get the, uh, the extra long wraps, the, the Mexican wraps, I think they're three meters long, I'm, I'm not sure about that. But, um, uh, but the, the way that, that you normally use them is uh, putting the, the the loop around the thumb and uh, and starting the wrap around like this and uh, and, and this this approach uh, caused me problems. I was having my, my hands were starting to hurt at one point when I was training and luckily uh, a really good coach of mine, uh, Bunkert Fairtex, showed me this this one way of wrapping that that's really quite better. And so the the problem with the the way that I was wrapping before and the, the kind of more standard way is that. Um, you, you want to have a lot of padding in front of the knuckles and in fact when you look at what people do when they're using gauze and tape to wrap up their hands they, uh, they put a, heck of a lot of padding here it's almost like plaster and, uh, uh, and when you try to achieve that with the, the, uh, the wraps just the standard way what happens is that you end up wrapping too many times around your, your knuckles in order to get the padding in front you, have, you end up with too much fabric in, 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 in the, uh, on, on the uh, palm side of the hand and it, it gets in the way of making a good fist. So, um, so just from experience, the, uh, the way I'm going to show you uh, now um, was actually uh, instrumental in allowing me to keep hitting hard uh, on the bag and keep training without hurting myself and it's really important that, that you don't get pain from, from your workouts. So uh, don't mess up your wrist because it'll be problems for a long time. So in any case, what Bunker showed me um, was you start off with the, the head wrap and you fold it over uh, a few times like this. And so now you have this extra padding that you put on your wrist, on your, on your knuckles, I mean. And uh, the only tricky part here is grab it under your chin so that you can Start it around, uh, start it on uh, so that you can easily wrap it around. So you wrap it a couple times around the knuckles, and uh, always uh, when you're doing this, you're trying to get the the hand wraps as tight as possible, but uh, not for it to be painful. So you'll you'll learn from experience when you've put your hand wraps on too tight, uh, it will definitely hurt a heck of a lot, and you might actually have to immediately you know remove your gloves and redo them. But, uh, but in general, the places in, in your hand that you can go tight around and the ones that you are, are or the ones that you can go and should go really tight when you're, when you're doing it is around the knuckles and around the wrist. And the, the other parts you want to be more careful about, about wrapping tight. So, so in any case, we wrap it a, a few times around the, the knuckles. Then we go around the wrist a couple times. And then we do the knuckles, and so the knuckles, you see, I place it, I go over. It's easier to do when you're standing up than sitting down. Uh, it doesn't wrap, it, it's easier to undo the kinks, but uh, in any case, so you, you wrap it around the front and then over the sides. So let me show you. So as you can see here, 
Uh, and when you're doing this part here around each, because we're going to do each individual knuckle, um, what you want to do is each time you do the knuckle, you, you make a fist to be sure that you're not pulling too hard on, on the knuckle. Um, but um, so, so we go over, and as you can see, the, the, the fabric is coming from below my wrist, and, uh, and then it crosses over to the knuckle, and then I wrap it around the knuckle, and when it comes back, it goes to the other side. So we have a, it's, it's crossing over each time. And so, um, so I make my fist each time to make sure that it's not too tight, but I want it to be as tight as possible. As I said, you play around with it and you find out the ways that, uh, that hurt and don't hurt, or just how tight you can get it. Um, really, the, the tighter the better, especially once you start hitting hard. But, um, uh, but around the knuckles here, you, know, you make your fist to make sure that it doesn't get too tight. So, so we were crossing over, uh, we were coming from, uh, from, from the, say, the, the thumb side over into the knuckle, then around, and then back over on the opposite side of the wrist. But when we get to the, um, to the, the pinky finger, we're actually going to wrap it uh, around the knuckle the opposite direction. So rather than going on the outside and then wrapping and coming back um, uh, over, over my wrist here, the problem with that is that uh, it, the angle is bad for, um, uh, for, the, uh, 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 for, for holding it off of the wrist. So what you actually do is you, you wrap it instead from, from, the in, from the inside, you bring it back and we wrap it back in the opposite direction. Again, make a fist to make sure that it's tight. And now we're back around the wrist, so we can go um, let me just get the kinks out. So um, go back around the wrist. Now here we can do the, the thumb. So you, you bring it around the wrist and then over to the thumb. Um, if you're running out of fabric, I think the thumb part is the least important, um, and so so that's the one that I would skip if your if your wraps are too 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 short or your hands are too big. Um, but if you've got the room, then do it twice uh, around around the uh, around the thumb. Um, this is one where you really want to be careful not to get it too tight because if it's too tight, uh, every time you punch, you're actually pulling on on the thumb, and it can it can really mess you up. So. Um, uh, so anyhow, then finally, we, so we've, we've done twice around the thumb, uh, each time around the wrist once, and, uh, and now uh, all we have just a little bit of fabric left, and we wrap twice around the, the knuckles, and then bring it back and wrap the rest around the wrist. And it's this last wrap around the knuckles and around the wrist that you want to get really tight. And, uh, and the best trick here to get it really, really tight and, and like rock hard, like you can punch anything once you have it like this, is uh, what you'll find is that the, uh, over time, the, I mean this is cotton, so it does stretch a little bit over time uh, and it loosens. So, um, so what you do, let's say after your, after your rounds of, of skip rope or whatever, um, you can take it and you, Wrap it, you undo the wrapping all the way to the part that was the knuckles. And I wrapped it around my hands so that I could quickly wrap it back and get the really big tension where now, uh, so you know, when I do it quickly, I'm just, I just do this and then wrap it back. And now it is so rock hard. I mean, your, your hands are so safe at this point. Uh, and you can really, you, you can hit and not be too worried. Um, now that being said though, uh, what do you do if you do get injured? Um, I, uh, I was once uh, punching a, a heavy bag that had duct tape, layers of duct tape around it uh, to, 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 you know, because it started ripping. And uh, so it was pretty hard and I, I, I punch, punched it wrong one time and hit my, my, uh, my small knuckle, my, my pinky finger knuckle. Uh, kind of on its own, 
and really messed up my wrist and or my, my knuckles and uh, I couldn't even lift a, a, a frying pan at, at that point and I didn't train for, or I didn't hit the, the bag for six months when I tried hitting it again it was still intensely painful or once more it became acutely painful and uh, so it was a really big problem and the solution to that was actually uh, physiotherapy um, what they explained to me was that there was scarring uh, in, in the knuckles and the scarring created or left uh, crystals behind that actually would tear the, the tissue anytime there was a uh, strain or impact. And so what they did is they used uh, ultrasound to break down that scarring and, and luckily I was able to hit again uh, without any problems. So, so that's, uh, that was very useful or very helpful uh, as well. But, uh, but generally you want to make sure that you're using good gloves, uh, punching bags that are not too heavy, not too, um, uh, not too hard. And, uh, and that you're wrapping really well um, because uh, you definitely don't want to end up being someone who has uh, really who has hand problems. You could, this could cause big problems later on in life, but in, but in general as a boxer, um, you shouldn't have to uh, use the, ga the gauze and tape um, when you're training. It should only be when you're doing a, a pro fight you know, and you're hitting a skull instead of a soft bag. So in any case, that's the, uh, oh yeah, the other thing I was going to mention is that, uh, it's just a small detail, it, it's counterintuitive, it, 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 there's no point in, in, wrap, in rolling your, your hand wraps, all right? I keep mine um, kind of in a, in a mess, um, but not quite, as, as I'll explain. So the, the problem with rolling it into a little ball is that after your workout, your, your hand wraps normally are soaked with sweat, and if you roll it into a ball, then that means that the water can evaporate easily, and that means that they stay they'll stay wet for for a day or more, and uh, and they'll start to smell really bad or worse than they would otherwise. So what I do when I when I get home from my workout is I hang my my wraps on a chair or something. Um, it's better to hang them high so you don't have to loop it over as many times. But uh, but if you hang them uh, and you let them dry. Uh, they, they not only dry very quickly, so within a couple hours my hand wraps are dry, and so they're, they're not growing bacteria and fungus, uh, um, uh, you know, for days. Um, and you, you should wash them regularly too. Um, but, um, uh, but the other advantage of hanging them um, is you hang them straight, so they end up being straight. Because that's the one problem, if you leave it into a, in, in a, in a kind of pile, um, it, they get all crinkly and it's a bit harder to, you know, uh, which is a small thing, but uh, but yeah, so don't waste your time rolling them up, that doesn't serve any purpose. And so, uh, one last point about the uh, the importance of the, or the advantages of the cloth wrap over the uh, synthetic kind of stretchy one, is that um, you want the hand wrap to be as tight as possible when you're making a fist, and when you're, you're getting the impact, but when you loosen your hand, there should be uh, no tension or very little tension so that blood can flow and uh, and that's the thing that's the, the the key to having really the best hand wraps so uh, with the cotton um, and especially with the way that, that I've wrapped the, the, the hand wrap uh, when I make a fist then it's it's extremely tight and, and actually the, the the fingers turn a little bit red um, uh, from from blood not being able to flow uh, but obviously you're you're only making your, your hardest fist um, uh, for a brief moment, and as soon as you uh, as you stop, you know, bringing everything together and, and forcing it forcing it against the the, the fabric that doesn't give, um, uh, you know, that's that's how you get that the best protection, and you just you don't get that at all with the uh, the the stretchy the stretchy uh, hand wraps because they're they're just putting a little bit of tension, but that's something that can always stretch by 50% if, if a little bit more tension is put. And, and, uh, and like I said, it, uh, it cuts your circulation um, as soon as you start uh, wrapping a little bit tight. So for those who couldn't see well enough, maybe because it's, it's black on black, um, let me show again on the, uh, on the left hand. So you start off by, uh, by folding it maybe uh, three or four times, five times. So I have my, my little padding, then I put it on my on my wrist or my on my on my knuckles like this, and I actually hold it against my chin at the top so that I can easily um, wrap it around the first time. And then I so I wrap around the around the knuckles twice, then around the wrist. 
twice. And then, so the first time, or the first three knuckles are the same. So I bring it over, wrap it around, bring it back over to the wrist. So, um, do it on this one, and this next knuckle. Making a fist each time to make sure that it's not too tight. And then the last knuckle. So each of the each of the first three knuckles. You basically wrap it from the thumb to the outside of the hand and then bring it underneath the, the, the finger and then bring it back uh, over to the, to the wrist. And we're doing essentially the same thing except uh, instead of being starting from the outside and wrapping it and bringing it back to the inside, for the last knuckle we bring it from, from this side and then back here. And as you can see from pulling from here to here, I'll have it, it'll be uh, easy to, um, uh, to lock it against the wrist here, right? Um, if, if I was instead, if I, do it, if I had done it this way, then I would be bringing the, the wrap over here, right? And it, 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 it can't hold against this wrist because, uh, because it's already at, at the very edge of the hand. And so, if I have it here, it's 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 all messed up. So uh, so anyhow, so so I do it from from the opposite side, bring it back over, and uh, now I do uh, once around the wrist, once around the thumb, once around the wrist, once around the thumb. Again, this one you don't want to make it too tight because if you pull too hard on your thumb, uh, it can cause problems. I, I hurt my hand recently with that. And um, um, so we finish it twice around, once or twice around the, around the knuckles and the remaining around the wrist. And and there we go. Oh, and the other thing I was going to say is, uh, for example, when I hurt my thumb um, from, from having it uh, too tight here, um, the greater problem that I had was actually that my, my muscles on my forearms were, um, uh, were too tight and uh, what I needed to do was to press uh, hold for a minute and, and really release the tension because you, when, you're, when you're hitting really hard um, your muscles start to get tighter and tighter as they learn to, to put the tension that's needed to, to hold that kind of impact and after your workout the tension remains so, so it could be a good thing to work on your muscle um, uh, by pressing and, and holding and, and forcing the muscle fibers that are locked like this, if you press down on the muscle uh, on where the knot is, um, that will uh, that will actually release the the uh, the knot and, and finally that'll let go and and the pain that you're having in your hand or in your wrist uh, often is due to the muscles at the back of the hand, at the back of the arm here uh, being being locked really really tight. So in closing. Um, the one thing to know is that you absolutely have to wear your gloves. Uh, the, the hand wraps help and, and are, are meant to work with the gloves in, in that the, uh, the cushiony part of the glove uh, absorbs most of the impact and, um, and stops you from getting bruises and, and cuts. But when you hit really hard, there's still some deeper impact that requires the, the hand wraps to hold the knuckles and, and the wrist together. So. Um, so don't go thinking that just because you wrapped your hands really well that you can hit anything. It's with gloves that you can hit hard. And, uh, and in, in fact, uh, 
boxing in, in the street, uh, street fights for boxers are a bad idea because you break your hands. <laughs> so, um, so in any case, and you shouldn't be fighting anyways, but, um, uh, but, uh, but in any case, it's good to know um, what different sources of, of injuries can come and, and how, to, how to deal with them. So, uh, so for sure, if you're hitting crooked, you're going to have problems no matter how well you wrap. Um, one one uh, uh, side thing that isn't really related to the to the head wraps is that so not only do people often hit with the wrist crooked, um, but people often uh, will hit when they're, they're sending their hook. They'll have their elbow low, and, uh, and and not only do you not have power when you do that, but you also actually mess up your your elbow and and, and the different muscles uh, around there. So. So those are good things to, to keep an eye out for. But, um, but as I was saying, if, you, um, uh, if, you've, if you've got an, an injury, uh, getting physio for, to break down the, the scarring can be really helpful. But, but um, if you're curious about the muscle release that I mentioned earlier, um, the website Jolstro, where this lady uh, sells these books um, that, that are extremely effective. Um, I would say that her her self treatment that she teaches people how to do through books and, and so on um, is easily ten times more effective than physio for most injuries for things like uh, tendonitis and uh, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome or um, um, acute muscle pain or pain due to tightness in the muscles. It's it's extremely effective. So so you should definitely check that out. You can train harder thanks to that book than you can otherwise, in my opinion, and experience. And so, um, uh, and and one last thing. Uh, I mean, I, I said I think that uh, that you should avoid hitting too hard or too heavy a bag. I mean, it's it's interesting to hit a heavy bag, and and uh, uh, but you really need to be careful not to do it too much. And if you're hitting a really hard bag, you have to be aware of the fact that you can't. You have to hit flush, and and you can't afford. To, to you know a lack of concentration that would you know result in, in, in hitting just a small part of the, of the fist but but uh, but the other problem is that if you hit a heavy bag that's too hard and too heavy uh, too often you can get necrosis of the tissue so what happens is that the the impact is is so uh, so enormous that uh, um, what can happen is that the skin, the the tissue that grows uh, and, and, and creates skin uh, will end up dying, and so the cells that these cells that normally last forever uh, die from from too much impact, and, uh, and then you'll definitely have to stop training, and you'll have uh, greater problems. So, so if you're hitting the heavy bag, try to give yourself a uh, a day's rest in between, or or aim to just do sparring on the other day, or or do uh, or hit the really soft light bag um, as as an extra bit of rest. Because because uh, you should be having a lot of fun and you should be improving all the time, not getting injured and, and being held back by that. So so good luck and have fun. Bye.